Amnesty International halts its work in India. Amnesty International has been forced to let go of its staff in India and pause all of its ongoing campaign and research work. This is the latest in the incessant witch hunt of human rights organizations by the government of India over unfounded and motivated allegations. Quote, the continuing crackdown on Amnesty International India over the past two years and the complete freezing of bank accounts is not accidental. The constant harassment by government agencies is a result of our unequivocal calls for transparency in the government. For a movement that has done nothing but raise its voices against injustice, this latest attack is akin to freezing dissent, said uh, uh Avinash Kumar, who is the executive director of Amnesty International India. I've seen this so many times whenever a government doesn't like um, the human rights reports um, review of what they're doing. They all of a sudden accuse them of a lot of other agendas that they don't have. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, and they didn't have an issue with the human rights organizations when they're reporting on other countries um you know abuse of human rights but all of a sudden they realize that this human rights organization is doing some apparently shade like they come up with all sorts of conspiracy theories for why this human rights uh, group is do is you know connect doing some shady stuff and their agenda is something else and for some reason all media is in it to get the go at the government because for some reason it's in their agenda to make their government look bad for some reason um and they make the job of the human these human rights group like really really difficult, right? And again, it's it's kind of easy to do that because human rights organizations they're they always all of them do something wrong because mm -hmm. obviously if you are doing so many operations everywhere, it's you're not you it's going to be easy for people to find some mistakes that you made. But then they connect those dots into coming up with a, a much larger conclusion of what your entire agenda is. Um, and people believe that. People believe conspiracy theories really fast, right? So right. Hmm. they're basically accusing Amnesty International of money laundering. Mm -hmm. um, so in uh, there in 2012, there was the foreign contribution or regulation. 2010, sorry, the Foreign Contribution or Regulation Act, which says that you can't have um, you can't be funded by international actors, right? Um, so. Amnesty International has the model of being distinctly funded through domestic fundraising. And according to them, more than 4 million Indians have supported Amnesty International India's work in the past eight years. Um, and the fact that the government is now portraying this lawful fundraising model as money laundering is evidence uh, that the overboard legal framework is maliciously activated when human rights uh, activists and groups challenge the government's grave inactions and excesses. So, and they've also been raided by the police. Um, okay. They have um, been uh, harassed by the Ministry of Finance. Um, they've been trying to go after them for finances and taxes for a really long time. The cybercrime police. Um, and things really started to heat up when um, more recently, when calling for the accountability of the Delhi police and the government of India in regarding the grave human rights violations in the Delhi riots and in Jammu and Kashmir. So they're putting pressure on them for that. And mm. so they come after their finances and it's completely because they completely froze their bank account. They cannot operate. They have to halt the, all their operations. Yeah, uh, this is what, uh, like, I've seen this so many times. Other authoritarian regimes do the same thing. First, the, a, a milder version of it is saying, fake news, everything that's against us is fake news. Okay, so that's a milder version of it, right? But then the higher, like, more authoritarian version of it is, like, so that's, like, Trump level um, is, like, okay, so we have a lower level. Okay, so here's the thing. We have Trump level. Fake news, everything, all media is against me. If they don't like me, it must be fake news, okay? Then we go one level higher. We get to India level. Um, fake news, also, um, we're going to accuse you of, like, a whole bunch of money laundry and stuff like that, and we're going to raid your offices, right? And then one level above that is, like, Philippine level, right? 
a reporter is going to jail and sometimes reporter missing and stuff like that, right? And then we go one level higher is like just like full on dictatorship, authoritarian Iran. Oh, there we go, Iran level, right? You you just you know you say stuff and you get executed publicly. You you don't even shy away from it. Like yeah, you you, you, you can't criticize the supreme leader. Okay. Oh, the above Iran is North Korea, right? Okay, this is like this is our scale: Trump, India, Philippines, Iran, North Korea, right? So Trump again for people who are like oh Trump is a dictator. This, no, he's like it's not even beginning. Like it's the mildest mm -hmm. version, just declaring mm -hmm. something. Like you can't do anything to the reporters. You cannot like go arrest them or anything. You can just declare things that you don't like fake news, right? But look, our Hindutva. <laughs> Hindutva atheist community and atheist republic oh, is boy. like is right here. W, like, look at this. Good riddance. Organizations oh. that violate FCRA rules should be shut down. So like this is our Hindu Hindu atheist community supporting India kicking out Amnesty International. Admin, look, I don't know what this is referring to. If you do money laundering, you will get uh, your assets freeze. Plus you plus you support jihadists. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Every time, every time Hindus don't so like predictable. So predictable. Every again, Hindus for people. Everything I don't like is jihadi. Uh, look at this. Rahul Suk Suk uh, Shukla is saying very good, uh, very good. Please don't come back, losers. What? Uh, don't support. Oh, Terry, see. Don't support. So they they're accusing Amnesty International of supporting theories. Don't support theories. Don't misuse funds to organize riots and don't launder money. How hard is that? Oh my God, these people. Um, get the going to. Yeah, I don't. They, they just they, they just believe things. They just read things online and they just believe it. That's the their yeah. It's, get the f out, Amnesty. Go serve your white masters. Wow. <gasps> And post colonial slave master. <laughs> yeah. They're saying I don't sounds, support it. They sound so much like the Muslim apologist. Yeah, they're so much like again, and they accuse everyone they don't like of being Muslim, but they themselves sound exactly like the Muslim conspiracy theories. Or just right? Abrahamics. Abrahamic Abrahamic. plural. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Darren saying, I don't support a lot of their issues to begin with, so I don't effing care. This is oh, how you lose. Okay. This. This is how this is how India is going down. The you know India is losing um, you know all the all the standards that made it a better country than countries like Pakistan because now you're losing human rights watch. You have no idea what you're what you're losing here. You guys, you guys, you have no. These people are not grateful of the things that makes their country a better place. You need mm -hmm. you need you need international human rights organizations to keep mm -hmm. your government in check. And you guys, yeah. Great job. Just keep throwing away, away everything that's making your country better. We'll see how that was going to work out for you. It's a public service to have yeah. human rights monitors. It's, you need that. You need that. Aces <laughs> Republic has now become... Look at this one. I love Aces, it. Now we here's the interesting thing. Like even when we posted this, we just reported in the news. We didn't even take a position. Like we're taking a position on it right now, but we didn't take it even to take a position when we posted this but this person just because po just because mm -hmm. i was posting the news this guy is saying atheist republic is now becoming a closeted jihadi you leave the faith but not the people Am oh, amnesty pours money into riots like i mean how should i trust you guys given that you look at the i mean do you have any credibility if you think like we're closeted jihadis and everybody that you don't like is a closeted jihadi these people. We got another super chat by Turtle. Uh, fifty. What is this? Is that not fifty? What? A Danish Krona. Danish Krona. Wait, can we? We can't say that. <laughs> we got to get flagged. Um, what? It sounds a lot like a beer bug. Uh, yeah. Rivka, you're muted. All right, hold on. Hindutva is saying. Oh no, Turtle is saying Hindutva clowns tried to feign outrage over a sex education clip from Danish TV. Tweeted by Muslim Daily and captioned by TRT World uh, Turkey's RT. Oh yeah, okay. Interesting. Oh, oh yeah, Murtad is saying okay. Turkey! Turkey! <laughs> eight, eight. That's what I was going to say. Turkey. Yeah, guys, Atheist Republic has been a Muslim front. This has all been the, mm -hmm. you know, we've been doing this for the past 15 years just because we are anti 
Hindutva, right? And this mm-hmm. all has been a secret plan. This we've been doing Tatiya for all this time just so that we could. And you know, it's very interesting how uh, in every country, like when they want to accuse this uh, human rights groups as uh, being against their country, they make it seem like that was the entire point of this human rights group, right? Mm-hmm. Like for some reason, um, all the other things that they were pointing out, like if you look at in the Philippines, they think like, oh yeah, I'm just international for some reason has in it against the government of Philippines, right? Not when they were talking about Saudi Arabia, but all of a sudden now that they're talking about Philippines, their agenda is just to be anti-Philippine government. Mm-hmm. Oh, but now they, like that was the whole point of their organization. But now they go to India and they're speaking about India's violation of human rights. Apparently, no, India is like, no, everybody, the whole world is against us. And the media, these other medias that they have no idea, like, the, the, and they, you know, every time I ask them, like when they say like foreign media and foreign human rights group, when they say like, oh yeah, they're anti our government. I'm like, ask them, okay, but why? Why, why would they be, what would be in their interest? Like, why would they want to be anti your government if anything other than human? They never give me an answer. They never give me an answer. I have yet to get an answer. Like, what, what interest does it serve to them to be against your government? Do you know what I mean? Like, why would they be? Why would that be their agenda? I've never gotten a good reason for um, any of them well, in I any have- country. I also just want to say, like, because in in this the stack of the lineup you had, like, there are a lot of Indian journalists who do face harassment by the state right. and are arrested and imprisoned by the state. There are we we report we put it we post it to our page. We talk about it. The only reason why it hasn't made it to the show is because those stories haven't gotten enough engagement yet. But like, I read these articles about Indian journalists being harassed and oppressed by the government as well. Um. But there are other factors in that lineup as well. Right. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.